Hey guys, um, this is a hard video for me to make, um, some of you may or may not know, for a short stint of my life I spent some time in Raleigh, or Raleigh, North Carolina, and the Carolinas and Tennessee and Florida and a whole bunch of states on the east coast of the US has been hit with a very 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 bad storm tornado hurricane natural I'm just gonna call it a natural disaster and I am seeing people on X and Twitter on X on social medias all praising the death of Republican voters. How fucked in the head are you? How fucking sick and twisted and demented do you have to fucking be to be celebrating the death of people all because of their political affiliation? You know that's how the Nazis managed to start rounding up the Jews, right? And then Auschwitz and all the other concentration death camps. When they first started rounding them up, everyone was like, Eeeh! all fucking seal clapping. That's what you're doing right now. Shame on every single fucking one of you, including certain fucking senators. Who have posted on fucking X. That they're glad. You should be fucking removed from office immediately. I don't give a shit what your political fucking affiliation is. Republican, Democrat, fucking whatever. I don't fucking care. You're showing about as much gratitude and love. For your own fellow Americans. For your own fellow human beings. And you're glorifying that. And in fact, private entities like like Elon Musk and, and, and McFarlane and a whole bunch of other people are trying to help. Where the fuck is the National Guard? What is the point of the National Guard? Oh, that's right. You've sent the National Guard overseas. Isn't that what your army's for? The National Guard is meant to, meant to stay within the state, within the borders of your fucking country, not deploy the Utah National Guard to Afghanistan. Since when is Afghanistan in Utah? It's not, is it? So why are you deploying the National Guard overseas and yet not the National Guard in the actual states that fucking need it? You got price gouges, you scum of the earth. Oh, motherfuckers, if I ever see you walking down my street, you will not be walking down my street ever again. That will be the last time you try and strut your stuff around me, you scummy cunts. There is more than just one video being posted of a guy that owns a gas station that's charging over ten dollars for a gallon of gas. Karma swings both ways, dickhead. My dad used to have a saying, the world is full of nice people. If you can't find one, be one. And I am a nice person. But not to people that go out of their way to fuck over their fellow man. Anyway, one of my moderators, okay, and fellow Twitch streamer, happens to live in South Carolina, and I have not heard from him. And I'm very worried about him. I haven't seen him stream. I haven't said I've not even gotten a tweet, a Facebook message. I've not got a Discord message. I've got nothing from him. And I am very worried about him. And I hope and I pray. And I mean this. I hope and I pray that he is okay. Because he's a damn good man. He's a damn 
good kid. I've got friends in Florida. I hope that they're safe. I've got friends in South Carolina. I hope they're safe. I've got friends in freaking Tennessee. I hope that they're safe. I've got friends all across the US who have been affected by this and there's nothing I can do. I feel completely powerless. And I want to. I want to help. I do. I want to help them. But I can't even get a, an appointment to go to the U.S. Embassy to get my, my visa paperwork started. It just breaks my heart. Seeing people I care about hurt. I may not be currently in the US, but I'm on my way. I have every intentions of getting back there. That's my home. America is my home. I'm currently stuck here in the UK, and I hate it here. I, I hate it here. I absolutely hate it here. And if things keep going the way they're going, I'm probably going to have to go to the American Embassy and beg them for asylum. Because it's getting to the point where it's hard to be a white Catholic person in this country. A country that is supposed to be Catholic. I do not have my religious freedom to practice my, my faith. I don't. You know it's bad when Catholic priests are fleeing England and going to America and getting asylum. Calvin Roberts being one of them. At least he had the church helping him. I've got no one helping me. So I'm stuck here. And I'm making this video not because I want you guys to... Do whatever you want to do or try to do or whatever. It's nothing to do with that. I just want you guys to understand that... What are you doing... Why why are you doing that to people in your own country? England once had a really bad flood in the late 80s, early 90s. And the entire country all came together. I remember watching football gangs that would tear chunks out of each other on a, on a Sunday. Literally all pitching in to help. Because they knew as a as a whole, England was suffering and they didn't need any more suffering. There's a there's there, there's two types of warriors in this world: a warrior that will wait for his opponent to get better so he gets a fair fight, and those who will fucking sucker punch you. You want to know what I do to the ones who fucking sucker punch? They don't get the fuck up. As the Punisher once said, the difference between me and you, Daredevil, is when you knock them down, they get back up. When I knock them down, they stay down. Same with me. I didn't want to make this video today. I really didn't. I wanted to have a good day. I've got my gym workout shirt on, and that's why it's full of holes. I've I've got my free weights. Literally, I've got my my free weights right here. I was getting ready to grab my my workout mats and 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 start doing some boxing and a whole bunch of other stuff. And then I looked at my phone. I made the mistake of looking at my phone. I made the ultimate mistake of looking at this thing. And on it was notifications and I watched these videos of these yuppity fucking trustafarians and people living off of 
mummy and daddy's credit card living in a democrat fucking run city living in a shoebox smaller than the room i'm in saying yay fuck republicans listen you dumb cunt don't post on the internet ever again you've just shown the world your true fucking colors I feel sorry for the poor cats that you end up with. Now normally, normally, I am my little coffee times with Cobra with a coffee's done so I'm done, but I, I'm not going to do that. I'm too emotionally compromised to do that. I, I really am. I'm too, I'm too wound up. I'm too angry. I'm too, I'm at the limits of my fucking metazapine. No joke. This is my, see, I take metazapine. I take meds. I take fucking mental meds because I'm that fucking angry all the time. And this just pushed me over the edge. I mean, I, I, this is the first time I'm ever ending a coffee time with Cobra where I have not finished my coffee. Because the coffee is not helping to calm me down. Just please be safe. Wherever you're at, be safe. And if you're in the position to help, help. Please. God judges you by the actions that you do. And the actions that you're compelled to do. Not the actions that you're forced to do. Just know that. See you in the next one, guys.